Good morning to all and all present here. Our project title is Blind Spectrum Sensing for OFTM Based Cognitive Radio System. Our batch members are Ms. K. Kavita, Ms. G. Dawson Pena, and Ms. R. Namata. And our internal guide is Ms. T. Deepa Ma'am. The objective of our project is to overcome the spectrum scarcity and to make use the underutilized portion of life in spectrum. And apart from this, here we are going to avoid the hackers while sharing a spectrum to unlicensed user in multipart transmission. The abstract is that uh, our project aims to overcome the spectrum scarcity. Lot portion of license spectrum is underutilized and those underutilized spectrum is allocated temporarily to the unlicensed user. In case of allocating, there will be a chance uh, that unlicensed user will get interfered with the licensed users. So we are uh, using orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. This uh, allocation process is used along with a cognitive radio system for spectrum sharing and it also avoids the interference of unlicensed users with licensed users. Apart from this, we are uh, proposing a trust-based algorithm to detect the hackers in transmission path and also to provide a secure path for transmission. The existing model is that uh, data sharing in single path transmission with OFTMA and here uh, uh, ISI will cause an interference in multipath transmission and a spectrum sensing in multipath transmission without OFTMA as possibilities of low energy efficiency during data transmission. The drawback of our pro, uh, existing model is that uh, here more energy consumption will occur and uh, security is, uh, is not that much important and delay is high and the throughput is low. The proposed model of our project is OFDMA with multipart transmission in CRS and it avoids the interference during spectrum sharing and transmission. Since wireless communication is prone to security issues, we also proposed an efficient algorithm called trust-based algorithm to avoid the hackers and to provide secure path for transmission. And the future of the proposed system is that here energy consumption level is low, delay is reduced, increasing throughput, this is more privacy and secure and it reduces inter-symbol interference. This is the overall block diagram of our project. In this, we will be using our cognitive radio system. What it will do is that it will sense the spectrum and then analyze the spectrum and share the spectrum of uh, licensed user with unlicensed user in case of absence of licensed user. And apart from this, uh, we have proposed a TBA trust-based algorithm. Uh, the trust-based algorithm will uh, detect the hackers and provide secure path for transmission. Uh, and uh, to avoid the interference of unlicensed user with licensed user, we also use the orthogonal division, frequency division multiplexing in, with multipath transmission. In this, uh, we are going to propose a performance analysis between the existing and the proposed model uh, based on the energy delay and throughput. Here we used two algorithms, one is OFTMA that is orthogonal frequency division multiplex access. It is used for spectrum sharing and sensing in cognitive radio system and avoids interference with unlicensed user with licensed user and also a TBA trust based algorithm. It avoids our hacking and malicious users during data transmission in multipath. This is the block diagram for OFDMA spectrum allocation. In this, we will be creating nodes and those nodes will act as a users and uh, we will be measuring the distance between the nodes, that is the position of nodes. And if uh, there is any uh, packet drop in between the nodes, then uh, uh, that license frequency band is not free and uh, traffic will occur and hence it will uh, go for a analysis of free spectrum in some other path and if the packet has not dropped then license frequency is free and hence it will allocate the uh, underutilized license frequency to uh, unlicensed user for a particular period of time and apart from this we also uh, measure the energy of this uh, OFDME uh, spectrum allocation process and we will be providing a secure path for data transmission using a trust based algorithm and uh, we have proposed it four modules in this project. Number one is node creation, number two is OFTM with multipath and a TBA and performance analysis. Node creation, we will be creating a CRS node and a, uh, specifying or specification of single mode topology for creation of nodes and it select the source and destination and we have applied a DSR routing protocol information. 
this is the uh, final output of the node creation block and the second module is that OFDM with multipath in this the source data is split into multiple packets and at receiving side those packets are combined to get our original data and uh, the main advantage of OFDM over single carrier is that it cope up with several uh, channel conditions and it doesn't require the equalization filter at receiver to get the data and it is used for low frequency data transmission and data will be sent in multipath. And this is the uh, output of the spectrum allocation process. And this is the output for multipath transmission. Here uh, from source to destination uh, data packets will be split in multipath and at destination it is combined to get the original data. And the TB algorithm. The TB algorithm is work based on receive power and uh, destination location. It first avoid the hackers and act like a transducer. Uh, it diverts the packet in secure path and uh, it is based on 3D parameters. And uh, in this uh, we have assumed a node as a malicious user and that malicious user is detected then uh, using TBA it will provide a secure path for transmission from source to destination. This is a uh, performance analysis block. Uh, we have uh, analyzed the performance uh, between existing and proposed model that is with OFDMA and without OFDMA. So uh, a proposed model the output is better than uh, existing. And this is the graph output for our throughput, delay and energy. And we have used a Zikwin software and languages is like C++ for coding and TCL for NAM output. And the operating system is Windows XP. The application of this project is wireless communication and system, mobile application, digital television and audio broadcasting. Networks. Thank you. Hmm. Now we are going to see about the simulation output of our project. Open the Zikman command window. Type start x main dot that. This command will give you the main new command from window. Type ls to list the files. To get through the code OFTME folder, type cd space code OFTME and in that list the files, to type ls to list the files. Type ns code dot tcl to run the output of the code OFTME. Uh, the running commands will give you the position of each node with three parameters x, y, and z. Nam enter is open. And click the run button to view the output. Increase the speed. Here the node 5 is assumed as source and node 10 is assumed as destination and this uh, shows you the transmission of data in multipath with the uh, OFTME. The yellow color will indicate the uh, energy has been partially utilized and red color indicates that energy on that particular node is utilized fully. Now again type start x pen dot path to open the new command from window. Type ls to list the file. And to get through the mpt folder type cd space mpt. In that again type ls to list the file. And type ns space 5 dot pcl. Again this source you the uh, position of uh, each node with three parameters x, y, z. Run 
the output. Increase the speed. Here, uh, zero is assumed as source, and eight, uh, node eight is assumed as destination, and it uh, gives you the data transmission in multipath. And node fourteen is assumed as archer. Uh, due to presence of malicious user, the data is uh, dropped at fourteen node, and it doesn't reach the uh, destination. Type star x window back to open the command prompt window. Type ls to list the files. Type cd space graph to enter into the graph folder. And again, uh, list to list the file. Type ls to view the graph of delay. Type x graph delay dot xt. And this gives you the graph of uh, average delay with respect to the number of nodes. Again, type star x window bar to open the new command from window. Type ls to list the file. And type cd space graph to enter into the graph folder. And in that, type ls to list the files to get the output of. Energy type x graph high dot x t and in this uh, it shows you the output of throughput with rest, uh, between the existing and the proposed system. Green color indicates the uh, throughput of the proposed system and uh, red color indicates the throughput of existing system. In that uh, the throughput of proposed system is better than that existing node. Again, type start x window back to open new command from window. Type cd space graph to enter into graph folder. Type ls to list the files. Type x graph space energy dot xt to view the energy. This shows you the uh, energy of the each node. And the red color indicates the energy of existing model. The green color indicates the energy of proposed model. And uh, in this, we can say that proposed model uh, energy consumption is low compared to the existing model. It shows you the average delay uh, of the proposed model with OFDMA and the average delay is less compared to the uh, existing model. Here the delay is 1.682. This window shows the average end to end delay of the uh, existing model. And uh, here it is 2.75. So compared to existing and proposed, the average delay in proposed is less. So uh, the output is better in proposed compared to existing model. Overall output of our project is over. Thank you.